Hello and welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial I will show you how to implement more mobile inputs so here in the left corner you will have a joystick uh, and in the right corner you will have a jump button so you'll be able to move around like this and jump on the button yeah let's get to it So the third thing that <coughs> so the first thing that you'll need to do is to go to the asset store. It can be found under Windows asset store. In here, you'll need to type in joystick, and here you can find the joystick pack. Let's open up that. And I already installed it, but I'll press this uh, button here, it will say uh, download. And after you have downloaded it, you will have to press import. And then you have imported it to your um, to a game and you will have a package that looks like this. When you have imported that, we will need to set up some some UI here. So let's first create the the ground. So we have something to walk on. Let's make a plane called this ground. And let's scale it up by 10, 10, 10, like this. <coughs> let's uh, create a new material just so it looks a little better. Let's call this ground. Let's make it green, it has a little grassy look. And then we'll need a 3D uh, capsule. And this will be the player. So we play here. And remember the player needs to have a capsule collider if you are choosing a capsule. Two things. Remember to reset the transform, sorry I did not do that. And then the player, you can move uh, one up. <coughs> so it is, as you see, just above the ground. The player also needs a rigid body. And on the rigid body, you need to use gravity. And under the constraints, you'll have to freeze rotation in X, Y, and Z. And on your ground, we will need to create a new layer, add layer, and here in whatever layer you have available, you can uh, type in ground, go back to your ground, and choose layer ground. Then I create a simple cube, the cube here is just a test cube, and this is just to see when we are moving around like this and then on our player we will have to drag down our main camera so now the camera is following the player and under the player we will have to create an empty object and this will be our ground check and the ground check has to be just at the feet of your player, like this. Now we need to create the UI, so let's make a UI canvas. In my case, I will leave it as overlay. I will scale with screen size, and here I will go with the 1920 with 1080. Oh, come on, and I will set this to 0 
Now on the canvas, you can go to your joystick pack, go to prefabs, and here we'll have a fixed joystick. Move that on the canvas. And this is the standard one uh, you have here. And you can always go here and change the color if that you want that. Or you can change the sprite if you have your own sprite and the same goes for joystick here. You can change the, the circle around. Then underneath the canvas here, you'll always also need a jump button. So let's create a UI image. And this we can call uh, a fixed button. And for the source image, you can choose. This is some of the standard ones that are follow following with the joystick pack. Uh, I'll just choose this one. And let's go to the view here. And I will drag it down in this corner. Like this. So now let's create two scripts. The first one will be uh, the character movement controller. The second one will be the uh, fixed button. The fixed button, you can uh, you can uh, drag that to the button like this. And now let's open it up in Visual Studio. For this uh, button, we will need to make a public pool and call it pressed. We need to implement um, I pointer up handler and to get this to work we'll need to implement using unity engine dot event system so you can right click and implement it else you can just write in this line as well we will need i pointer uh, down handler and right click, quick action, implement interface, same for the other one. You can actually delete, start and update. And in these two events here, in the I point down, we will have to say pressed is equal to true. And here we'll say pressed is equal to false. So when you press down the button, this will be true. And when you lift your finger again, it will be false. That's everything we need in this script. So now let's take our player and drag the character controller script. Open it up in Visual Studio. In here, we will have to get some references. So the first one will be our public joystick. And let's call it uh, joystick. We need a reference for our uh, button, the fixed button we just made. And this we'll call uh, fixed button. Then we need, uh, we can make that private, private, rigid body, call it RB. And then we of course need a move, uh, sorry, a public float for our move speed. We also need, if we want to jump, we will need some public float for our jump force. We will need a uh, a ball for our is grounded, grounded, 
and we will need a transform and this is for our ground check it's so we can check if we are on the ground so we can double jump and we need a float and this is for our ground check radius i will explain what we'll need all these for in a second and then we need a public layer mask to sh so we can see what is the ground is ground so from the start we will have to say our joystick is equal to find object of uh, so we find object of type and here we can find our joystick like this and the same we need to do for our button so our uh, fixed button is equal to find object of type and we need to find the fixed button and what this does is when you start the game it will automatically find the script that you need for this one and for this one by looking for the object in your game then of course we need our rigid body as well so our rigid body is equal to get component and here we need to get the component uh, on the on the player and there we are looking for the rigid body on the player like this so what we need to do first is we need to figure out is our player on the ground to do that we can make is grounded that is our bull boolean up here and here we can say if physics dot check sapphire and what do we need to check we need to take our ground check dot position that was the uh, the point that we made underneath the player and then we need a ground check radius and then we need to check layer is ground so just fast to show what this does if we go back to unity here we can see here we have our ground check so now basically it's drawing a sapphire around this point and with the radius we typed in it will check uh, are the ground uh, if you go here the layer ground is that inside the circle here if it is then the boolean is true and we are grounded else it's false so <coughs> to move the player let's do rigid body dot velocity is equal to new vector free and here we can use the joystick dot horizontal times our move speed and we need to do the same for the vertical axis so we need to say uh, uh, rb dot velocity uh, dot y and we need the joystick dot vertical times our move speed Oi, sorry move speed like this so this will make your player move around so to make him jump we can simply say if this grounded is true and our uh, fixed button dot pressed uh, sorry pressed is true so if this boolean is true 
and the fixed uh, button from the other script is pressed so now we can see we have pressed the button then we'll need to say our rigid body dot velocity plus equal vector free dot up times our jump force so let's save this head back to unity choose your player and here we have the script our move speed let's set it to 10 we have a jump force set it to 1 we have the ground check let's drag it over here the uh, ground check radius you can always play around but for me it normally works with 0 0.5 and what layer is the ground that is of course the ground these two you I normally stay, uh, let them be open so I can see I have found the script but in the script you can make them private if you don't want to see them here so now when you hit the play button should be able to move around and should be able to jump when you press the button as well so if you want this to work on your mobile phone you will need to download uh, the app called unity remote 5 on your phone and for iPhones you need to download iTunes as well so you need the latest version of iTunes on your PC you need the latest version of Unity on your PC and you need the Unity Remote 5 on your phone and then you can go to edit project settings choose editor and when you plug in your phone you can choose your, your iPhone and then when you hit play it will automatically open uh, or play on your, your mobile phone yeah that was uh, what I had to, to show you in, uh, in this tutorial Thanks a lot for watching and uh, remember if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you and see you next time.